Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little flip through of my bullet journal that I've had since 2018. So my name is Alice, if you guys don't know. The next page is font. And then this is my March calendar I made. So I drew a little blonde lady here. And if you really like this picture, I have a print of this up in my um, website and my shop. So you can go to aliceleadart.com and you can find this print and purchase it for your own. And then I used a lot of washi tape in my spreads. This is my March calendar. It's kind of interesting to look back at this because now I'm seeing like what specific events or part-time jobs I used to do up in here, which is interesting. And I would have a section that says art brainstorm. So I would brainstorm some ideas for artwork and I'd print out pictures that inspired me. So I'd paste it in there. I also um, did a little gratitude page. So I picked pictures of people that I was grateful for. So this is a picture of my hubby and my good friends, Kim and Mai. Then I put some motivational quotes in there. And then these are habit trackers that I would attempt to track. And as you can see, I didn't do much there. I think pretty much stopped on the seventh day of the month. So I was terrible at that. So that didn't work out for me. Um, and then this is my food tracker, which surprisingly, I was pretty good at tracking. And now that I look back at this, I ate a lot of McDonald's for breakfast, as you can see there. Hmm. Now one of my health was so bad. And then this is my, I think this is my weekly spread. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. So I would try to put my tasks down on my weekly spread, but I was terrible at keeping up with that too, as you can see there. And there's some of the blank spaces, I just put washi tape instead just to fill in the negative space. For some reason, I hated having negative space. And then I would attempt to have like routine dailies to work on. Didn't really do that well either. <laughs> I'm terrible, right? Um, and then I'd have some journal entries in here that I mix in there. So this is when my students went to vase. I teach um, high school photography. So we always do a lot of competitions. And um, yeah, I kind of wrote about my experience there in the spread. And these are some of the other students artwork that we saw there, which was interesting. And then I think this was a foodie recipe. Oh no, a foodie experience. So I wrote about Sunday brunch. And then these are my students um, works right here that got medals which is pretty cool. So I posted that in there so that I remember. And then this is another brainstorm. I really should go back to this one for sure and finish this painting because this was an interesting painting that I had in mind. And the inspiration for the lady's dress was um, from this collection here. Then I had a mushroom idea for a painting and I usually post a picture like a whole couture dress that inspired me and that usually inspires the rest of the painting. Then here's another weekly spread. I didn't keep up very well with it. Let's see here I wrote about my cravings. Sometimes I have a lot of cravings for different types of foods. So I would write it down and then kind of look back later to see if 
I had it in a while, then I'd go and get it. Then here's another weekly spread. I paint a lot in um, my bullet journal, as you can see here, it's very colorful. And then I do a lot of like doodles and metallic markers. And then of course, the borders are made from washi tape. Here's another little food log. My husband and I like, love to go out to eat um, around Houston. We're huge foodies. And then this is a little doodle I made. I love the idea of um, a lady living in the moon. Um, in a lot of Asian myths, there's some kind of story about a goddess who lives in the moon or a bunny who lives on the moon. So that's where that comes from. Then, let's see, another experience at the Dunlavey. It's like a really pretty restaurant. Um, I think it's on Allen Parkway. Yeah, it's on Allen Parkway in the Heights. And it has some beautiful chandeliers up in the ceiling. And then I thought it was pretty cool that I hit a thousand subscribers at this point. So I kind of documented that. Then some experience with St. Patrick's Day. I wrote down what I ate that day. It's funny how on St. Patrick's Day, my husband and I went to Fat Bao and we ate Korean fusion instead. <laughs> so you'd think on St. Patrick's Day we'd eat, you know, Irish food, right? Nope, <laughs> we went and ate Korean food. And then I guess this is another like little brainstorm of a drawing. And then these are my weekly spreads here. I think that at this point I tried to do cursive, but as you can see here, my cursive is not good. I'll go back to doing print because I don't know. I never think my cursive is very good. It doesn't have a style to it. You know what I mean? Some people, um, when they write, it's it's just every little line they flick in cursive looks really really good mine looks terrible this is my friend chelsea i kind of documented when i went to her birthday here's another weekly spread and then we get on to april so i did pretty good in march i wrote down a lot of stuff then april april showers it's my little painting there there's the bigger calendar and it looks like I got Easter nails in April. So I took a picture of that. Then some more YouTube ideas. Random sticker I got from somewhere. Some more art brainstorms. I pasted in some pictures here. Another weekly spread with some raindrops. I put some thumbnails of pictures that kind of inspired me for painting. So I kind of put them in there. I printed them now in black and white and cut them down and put them into these little rectangles. And there's some more ideas here, but I didn't really finish these. Then some more things to do, I guess. Some more journaling. Another weekly spread with some gold um, pens and metallic markers. Oh, we went to Japan Fest. That's when we got these really funny hats. Um, his was Opa and mine was Waifu. So if you guys are into K-dramas or you're an otaku, you definitely know what we're talking about here with these hats. I need to bring that hat back. It's kind of sitting in my closet right now, but those hats were so cool, guys. And I got this cute little stuffed dog. It was adorable. I still have it. It's sitting in my bedroom right now. One of the cutest stuff we've ever bought. Then here is my weekly spread. I did a vertical layout this time, it looks like. Another one.
And then, ooh, an inspirational quote. We move on to May. May is all about mushrooms, it looks like. So this was my calendar spread here for May. We have some art fonts here. Just collage them. I think it was like, I don't know what this is. It's like a car or something? Then YouTube budgets. I really like this weekly spread I did. It's pretty cool. I really attempted to make some pretty cursive on this one for sure. Then I think, oh, teacher appreciation. Oh, I forgot I put all of these little notes my students wrote me in here. How cool. Something I can look back on. It's pretty sweet. You know, it always surprises me as a teacher what students write me these types of notes. A lot of times it's a student that I least expect would write me anything. But I guess, uh, you know, those are the ones that you touch the most deeply, right? The little misfits. So it's very touching. And then some more weekly spreads with the mushrooms. I went all out with the mushroom theme in this month here. Wow, it's still working on painting with a twist. Then Justin Timberlake. Ooh, this was a fun. My husband surprised me with some tickets to go see the Justin Timberlake concert. Um, we love Justin Timberlake. His music is so fun to jam to. So this was the little pass here. So I glued it in here and then also the ticket. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I have this in here as a memory. And then of course I put the date too. So I guess I'm realizing that it's important to tape and glue all these you know, special events in here to kind of look back on. And for me, bullet journaling, I don't necessarily need the calendar here or the weekly spreads. Like I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to these random things here either, like the daily routine. I probably failed at that one. Um, habit tracker, definitely failed, because look, I barely filled it in. Mood tracker, mm, barely filled it in either. So, I think moving forward, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new journal, but instead of being a bullet journal, it's gonna be an art journal. So it's basically gonna be a journal where I document, you know, special times in my life, because I do enjoy looking back at that. And it can be also for like project planning, things like this, where I'm working on my art. Um, but definitely like all these weekly things, I pretty much fail at doing them or, you know, writing them down. So I don't think that's necessary for me. And so that's a suggestion I have for you guys. Do whatever works for you, you know? For me, it's better if I'm scheduling out tasks or events to do it on my phone because I do, you know, I have an Apple, um, an iPhone. So singing the calendar and all of that is much more useful to me because I'm always on the go. Um, but being creative and finding like a really cool outlet for myself to be creative, I can definitely still do it in this journal. Um, so for me, I just need the art part of the journal. I don't need the, the, the task of the calendar part. Definitely not necessary for the moods and all of that. As you can see here, I barely filled in my mood or my habits there. But the fun part for me was thinking of like different themes and decorating my journal. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll just have it as like a, a safe place for me to express my thoughts and feelings and, you know, document my important events. So I really like these spreads here. 
when, what is this october october was really fun because um you got to play with like little moon themes so moons and stars i love doing that as you can see here i kind of failed where are the expenses i didn't even track it see i just I just made it but i didn't do anything shopping list made it didn't do anything i decorated really cutely though right and then inktober ooh, what is this i didn't even do it ideas mm. so for me definitely i think it's i should just make some spreads where i just collage things for fun just for you know mental health wellness stress relief because it's, it's fun when you get to decorate but following up with these daily or weekly um fill-ins here definitely i think i just stopped there and then i guess the rest of this journal here i totally blanked out on nothing more oh well so definitely moving forward, I have a new idea for what I'm going to do for creative journaling. It's going to be creative art journaling instead of bullet journaling because I can't keep up with any of these weekly trackers, writing down weekly stuff, definitely not me. So if I go somewhere, I want to write about it, but jotting down what happens to me daily, that doesn't work for me. So that is it for my bullet journal flip through i hope you got inspired maybe you figure out something that works for you a system that works for you regarding creative journaling keeping up with your task and all of that so i want to thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys